Back at the British Shooting Show this year, 2023, I had a go of an Air Max crate on the air gun ranges that were there. I was suitably impressed and I got in touch with the guys from Air Max and lo and behold, boom, I have one here on the rack table, here in the rack cave. And I've got to tell you, I am suitably impressed with this air rifle. It is very, very accurate. Yeah, even in my hands, what a gun. Uh, very, very cool indeed. Now there's a few little, well, new bits on this that are sort of, um, well, very new as far as products go, like the um, the laminated cheek piece and the pistol grip. Um, and that's a bit of a custom job, um, the silencer with it being silver, but I'll talk more about that in a minute. But let's just throw out some specs. So this is the Air Max Arms Crate. It has a CZ barrel, okay, which has got to be a good thing. 400 mil, 520 or 700, so you can get them in FAC uh, version if you want. Carbon fiber bottle uh, in 300cc or 480. I think that one's a 480 by the looks of it. Weighing in at two and a half kilograms or 2.8 or 3.1, depending on length of barrel and this, that, and the other. Overall length is 585 millimeters or 705 millimeters, or for the big one, 885 millimeters. What a nice rifle. Now this has got, like I say, it's got a few sort of gooky bits like the, um, the stainless steel looking mod. Um, Chris, the guy who owns this uh, rifle, and he's like basically the importer um, of these rifles, left that uh, that colour rather than sort of blackening it, just to give it a bit of a bit of a cool look. Uh, but I've got to thank him for the lone gun. Uh, also, there's this added um, magazine holder here, which is very cool. Let's start with the magazines. So this is your magazine. This one is in one seven seven. And I found the magazines solid, they're like an aluminium uh, with like the, the polymer uh, bit inside. But literally, you just pop one in, turn it, pop one in, turn it, and just keep doing it like that. No um, window to put on or, you know, to, you've got to wind it on, put one in backwards and turn it the other way. None of that. Dead simple to, uh, to load. Clearly marked as well. You can see it. So easy to load into the gun as well. Very, very cool indeed. They they did impress me, those magazines did. Uh, just ease of use. And yeah, I'm struggling to get it in the mag holder. I think that's right, it's probably wrong. Uh, also, there is a, I didn't use it, but a single, you know, in fact, I'll tell a lie, I did use it at the British Shooting Show. Uh, Little Rack was also using this rifle. Uh, it had a Pulsar, um, I think it was a night vision scope on it or thermal can't remember uh, but it was like um projected onto a tablet so little rack was using this and absolutely nailing targets at the british shooting show that is the single shot tray there or loader very very cool looks like it's 3d printed nicely made though just awesome this gun is it's so cool I'd, I love the modularity of it. It's, people are gonna say, oh, it looks a bit like an FX. A lot of guns now are the, that sort of layout, but there was something about this, the, the trigger on it, it just felt so good. It's something a little bit different. Let's show you the other side. What I quite enjoyed as well was the left-handed cocking lever as well, which I've not really, I've used a couple of guns where you've got like the left-handed cocking lever. Um, I'm that used to using the right-handed, but I don't know, I found that kind of nice. But that's got a carbon fiber handle on it, which is very nice indeed. Just in case you're wondering, there is a Hawk Sidewinder, uh, five to, 
those six to 32 times 56 scope riding on top. Um, that pretty much did the job. That will lead me on to accuracy in a minute. But first of all, I want to just shout about other bits that um, Air Max are involved with as well. So they are involved with Spartan bipods, okay? So they have their own logoed Spartan bipods, which are very cool, by the way. Uh, this one, I didn't, oh, I did use it for a bit. Um, and I also shot this uh, <coughs> off a uh, tripod as well. Uh, but that's the, that's the bipod. Uh, very, very cool. So I think if you was to get one of these rifles, you may as well go the whole hog and get the, uh, get the tripod, uh, the bipod as well. But no, let's talk about this rifle. Let's take it from the top and then we'll jump into accuracy. So it's ballpup style. Okay, so this is where you load your mag. Let's, in fact, what we'll do is we'll put the safety on because I'll have to take the mag out. So there's a the magazine. That's how you load it. Just close it, just pop it in like that. Effort's, effortless loading. Oh, and the loading tray thing is, the single loader's just dropped out because I've not put it in properly. Just simple, simple loading. As you can see in the footage, the range footage, simple loading of this rifle. Adjustable shoulder pad there. So you can move that up and down. I think you can sort of uh, angle it as well. I didn't really mess with it. Pretty ambidextrous, ish, comfortable. Um, I didn't notice that magazine sort of sticking in my face too much. It's it's not that bad. I didn't really notice it. Um, very comfortable to shoot. I mean, even me being a lefty. Uh, there's your adjustment for your for your um, shoulder pad. There, you can lift up the cheek piece if you want. I think you can uh, fit a uh, monopod as well. I'm sure you can. One way or another, you can. There is your. Um, regulator uh, pressure gauge there and your bottle pressure gauge there. Safety catch is on the left hand side of the rifle. Okay, nice big safety catch. I kind of like that. Not seen a big safety catch like that before, That's, but I kind of like that. That's pretty, pretty cool. Um, you can adjust like the hammer spring and this, that and the other. I didn't touch it, but it has got all that um, adjustability. Uh, big rail along the bottom. It's got that Spartan um, adapter on there, but it also has got the uh, Arca Swiss on this rail as well. Picatinny rail on the side, Picatinny rail on the top, as you can see, it's pretty obvious. And then you've got another bit of Picatinny rail here. Nice, thick, chunky shroud on the barrel. Um, CZ barrel as well. I mean, what is not to like there? Such a comfortable rifle. Very comfortable. Just a, an absolute pleasure to shoot this rifle was. It was so nice. And as you can see in the footage, I shot it off a bench uh, using, the, uh, using the, the bipod. And I shot it off a tripod as well. And amazingly, I got... I think I've got better accuracy. Now, the, I'm going to basically tell you. So, this thing is way accurate, okay? So, any sort of deviation in groups is me, not the gun. But I'm gonna, let's jump into accuracy because I think that is the main talking point of this rifle because it is so blooming accurate. Now, I used a selection of pellets, okay? It's a big selection of pellets. Well, my usual selection of five types of pellets, okay. First of all, now here is the uh, the first target. So this is 30 yards shooting off the bench, uh, bench bipod, yeah. Um, I use, first of all, let's find them. I've got my pellets here. H&N, field target trophy. Uh, 8.44 grains, that's them right there. They were my first pellet of choice. They're like my standard sort of, you know, 
standard go-to pellet now. They are very, very cool from H&M. Three shot groups, 30 yards. Not bad at all. Then I swapped pellets then. I went on to RWS Superdomes. I put a few, few of these on a gong first, uh, you know, just to get the barrel accustomed to them. Uh, RWS Superdomes. These are 8.3 grains. Okay. They did all right. They opened up a little bit here. Was that me? Were that the pellets? Uh, but then I got a good group there. 30 yards, so very, very good indeed. Then I went on to some JSB Exact Diablos, uh, 8.44 grains. A little bit weird because these sort of dropped quite low. So I don't know what was going on there. Good groups, but they just dropped a little bit low. Quite weird because they're the same weight as the field target trophy, but they, they dropped a little bit. Then I put some slug through it, some 177 slug. This rifle, by the way, is 12 foot pound, if I didn't mention that. So I put some H&M uh, slug through it. Okay, these are obviously quite heavy. These are 16 grain. So naturally they're gonna drop low. But considering I didn't zero for them, the groups are all right. Probably wanted fine tuning with those, but I mean, slugs in the 12 foot pound, sometimes not ideal anyway. Then I used 9.57 grain H&M Barracuda lights, which are them right there. And again, decent groups. Okay, I'll roll in footage if I haven't already. Decent, decent groups. That was off the bipod. Then, Get rid of that target. I shot off the tripod, just using one type of pellet, just using the H&M Field Target Trophy. And off the tripod, these are the groups that I got. Three shot groups in each target, all the same pellet. 30 yards, finger for scale. All right, I don't know what happened there. Just blame me. That is an accurate gun. Way accurate than me, I dare say. Very, very cool indeed. I am, like I said at the start of the video, suitably impressed. I love the look of this rifle. I love the feel of it. It's solid, it's reliable, and it's blinking accurate. Let's give the trigger a pull for you trigger snobs. See what she's doing. It was a very nice trigger. I think we need to put it uh, on to fire. Let's just see what we're doing here. Oh, one pound, 10.2 ounces on the trigger pull. That's a nice trigger. I've got to remind myself. I've got to remind myself. Oh yeah, that is a nice trigger. Nice, nice trigger. Any gripes, Rack? Um, not really. I, I thought it was, I thought it was just a lovely rifle to shoot. Really, really, maybe a little bit weighty. I don't know, but when you, most of these air guns now in this sort of configuration, by the time you've dropped a scope on and a rail, you know, and a mod, they start to sort of get a little bit weighty. It's it's just how it is, you know, um, until they come out with like super, super ultralight accessories, you know, you, you've just got to roll with it. If it's too light, if, if it's too heavy, then you need to get yourself in the gym, don't you? Simple as that. But no, seriously, I cannot fault this rifle. Now, I've not got the manual to hand with this rifle. Um, but you go, you know, it's, in fact, in fact, hang on. Now, here is the box that you get. So you get a solid hard case, Air Max's logo on there. What we got in the box? 
What's in the box? Ah, not a lot. <laughs> you get your filler probe, you get your two mags. Uh, I've not got a manual uh, on this rifle, so I can't show you the manual. Um, but because this is a sort of uh, a demo rifle, but what a great gun, guys. What a great gun. Shots per fill. I had a ton of shots out of this and it's like the fuel gauge hasn't even moved. So I'll roll that in the details of the video down below, but you're probably talking 200 plus, you know, shot count per fill. You've got to be. Um, I've said I, I put loads of pellets through this. I've lost count to be fair. I was having that much fun with it. Uh, I even got my little, my my little daughter. She was shooting this. She was loving this thing, uh, shooting it off the bike, off the tripod. So I've had a ton of fun with this rifle. So accurate. I'm just. This is a real nice rifle. I'm really looking forward to uh, testing out some more of the other Air Max rifles, which I'm told are going to land on this table very soon. But no, guys, that is your rack and load review of the Air Max Crate 177 sub 12 foot pound. I am impressed. It gets a thumbs up from me. If you want something a little bit different, a little bit sort of, you know, off the, off the sort of, um, what's the word? You know, you want something a little bit different because you know what everyone else has got. You want something a little bit different. Hmm. It definitely blows my skirt up. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. That is Rack and Load. See ya.